What is going on everyone? Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we were going to try and spear for the first time, but um, it's a little bit overcast uh, forecast right now and then they're predicting rain. So instead of getting stuck out there and it being uh, it being too dark to uh, forecast with no sun, we're actually, we got the truck loaded up. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll turn the light on right here on the ring camera. Yo. Got the truck loaded up with a few rods, uh, two big rods, and then one trout rod. We're just going to run the beach in Port A. Uh, they've been catching a lot of trout off the beach in Port Aransas. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run the beach in Port Aransas, uh, look for some trout, and then worst case scenario, we got two big rods and we'll go jump on the jetty and try and do some jetty action. So anyways, if you're seeing right. this, we caught some fish. On the beach. So prime time here. Yeah, it is. Switch up to a mullet. Move down, man, this beach is so nice right now. I mean, there's one set of breakers real close and sometimes it slicks off for you for a while. Really good time to target these big trout. Beginning of August, mullet are starting to group up and come into the surf and go out into the Gulf. Right now is the time where you're gonna catch probably some of your biggest trout all year. And you can do it on top water right here if you can find them. Oh, scaring some mullet with my bait. And a lot of time they're gonna be on these close kind of sandbars and guts. So really, you're gonna see me work it in a lot to like right here in front of me. And I'm doing that because sometimes those fish are in that close. Give another cast out there. Also look for, uh, it's hard to tell right now. So we're just fishing these guts, but water changes. And I say water changes it and that could be color Mostly color for me, honestly. I've caught too many speckled trout out of green water to not fish it. So if you can find good clean water or just areas with a lot of bait, like there's a lot of bait way out past the second sandbar or anywhere there's kind of these good cuts and guts and it's hard to tell whenever we got here, but we're covered up in bait. So we're gonna fish it for a while. You never know, never know until you try. And sometimes this is very boomer bust. So uh, we catch one fish right here, but it could be a 30 incher and I'd be more than happy with that. A little bit of weeds. I think there's a bunch of bait right here. Probably working a spook around them. And really I'm bombing these casts just cause I don't know where the fish are. They could be holding just on that other sandbar, which I can throw that far with this, or they could be kind of right in front of us. So we're still searching for them. Man. Buy my cast right here. That just looks too good. Come on. And two, if we're not catching stuff here pretty soon, this beach fishing, you gotta be mobile. So we'll probably be fishing here a little bit more, trying to come across something, but if we don't catch anything, uh, we're gonna head down. We got the big stuff to go to the jetty. So if we don't catch anything here though, probably within the next 30, 40 minutes or less than that, but we're gonna move down the beach for sure, closer to the jetties and see if we can't run across some fish here. Sometimes all you gotta do is find where they're holding up in a little pocket or something. So we mentioned uh, fishing just different watercolor, and by that, that's more gonna be more towards the days when it's like real chocolate in the surf. But other than that, um, I'm looking for anything different 
uh, you want to think about the surf as just like a bunch of parallel lines, right? And anywhere those lines are broken or misshapen, that being the gut, uh, that's where you want to work. Now, the next clip we're about to play, I'm actually standing on a hump that kind of makes a pinch in the first gut right off the beach. And on the front of that pinch, it's a little bit deeper, so we hook up with a redfish right in front of us. And then after that, we start bombing casts, just chasing bait, and we hook up with a little Jack Creville. Beth! Sorry I didn't get the hook up on camera. But this fish was shallow. Right on this gut. Redfish. Top water. He was literally right here. He's gonna be short, but still on top water. What? Close. He was right behind a wave too, so I didn't even like see him hit it. I turned my damn GoPro off because I was kind of giving up. Beautiful redfish right there. Got some nice spots. I will say this, I've seen more bait probably in the past 20 minutes than the whole time we've been here. He is close, but that bait's coming in a little closer here. There he is. Turn the GoPro off, but we got a hit, boys. I don't know what he is. Oh! Cool little Jack Cravel here. Little Jack Cravel. Oh, wow. They get about 40 pounds bigger. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. It's a fun fight on this light tackle. Let's see if, see if there ain't some more fish out there. There's got to be more fish than that, more than one out there. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Uh, there were no more fish to catch. Um, this was a tough morning. There were a lot of fish in the surf. I actually got about 10 to 15 blowups in the top water, but they just would not eat it for some reason. Uh, I think it was more of a that day kind of thing. Um, but if you have any questions about fishing, fishing the surf, uh, drop a comment. I'll answer them the best I can. If you have any questions about tackle, uh, drop a comment again. But other than that, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video.